Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Brother Frank speaking to you from the International Mission Center in Krefeld, Germany. We look back to a most blessed weekend of meetings. Once again, over a thousand people, true believers were gathered here from all over Europe and also from overseas to join us in hearing the true words of Almighty God. Gather unto my, my people that they may hear my words. Many things have happened since December last year, and we shall refer to a few of them. First, I like to say that in February we had great meetings in Portugal and also in Pakistan. No one can imagine what it means to me to say 5,000 people gathered on the streets of Lahore, a centrally located city in Pakistan, Islamic Republic. But since 1972, I preached the message in that country, and now thousands gather to hear the true word of God in an open-air meeting. And beloved brothers and sisters, the same applies to all the different countries on earth. God is calling his people. And we can say, like our Lord and Savior did, in Luke chapter 4, when he read from the prophet Isaiah chapter 61, he could say, This day, this scripture is fulfilled before your eyes. By the grace of God, we live in a time, in a generation, when Bible prophecies are being fulfilled. With the church and with Israel, and then, of course, with all the nations. Everybody heard about the Trump declaration on December the 6th, 2017, declaring Jerusalem to be the capital city of Israel and friends. Jerusalem has been God's city with God's people since 3,300 years and never a capital city of any other nation or country. Then something very special happened. The government in Israel under the leadership of Mr. Netanyahu, of course, appreciated very, very much. And in addition to that, something is going on about the building of the temple. And here we have many photos, different photos from the coin that is to be printed in Israel to show three special men, 
Cyrus, the first man in the Persian kingdom, after the Babylonian captivity was finished, in the first year, Cyrus, the man God used to declare all Israelites return to Jerusalem and the temple shall be rebuilt. You can read it in a number of scriptures. Second Chronicles, the last chapter, the last few words in Ezra, in Nehemiah. And now on this coin, there are to be three names, Cyrus and then Balfour, who made the declaration on November the 2nd, 1917, as the British foreign minister, that the Jews have a right and should return to their homeland. And then, of course, Mr. Trump is also to be on this coin, Cyrus, from the time when the Babylonian captivity was finished and then, by the grace of God, even Trump with his declaration. But, beloved, if you read what is being said through the press, now those who are responsible for the rebuilding of the temple, responsible to print this coin in Israel with these three men, Cyrus and also with Balfour and then with Trump. Now they demand of Trump that he must take the second step and declare that the temple must be rebuilt as the declaration of Cyrus was done when the Babylonian captivity had finished. So, beloved, we cannot go into all these details. I hope I can write in a circular letter showing from the Holy Word of God that the temple will be rebuilt and according to Revelation 11, the temple will be measured and will have the same measurements as the first and the second temple had. And if you go to Ezekiel chapter 47, you read about the temple. If you go to Zechariah, the last chapter, you read what is going on in the temple. So, beloved, to make it sure that we understand the time we're living in, we are very, very close to the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because the ministry of the two prophets will only start when the last seven years began. And the moment, the moment that the treatment will be made between the European Union and, let's be honest, between the Vatican representing Europe and the last world empire, the prophet Daniel only saw four world empires, the Babylonian, the Medo-Persian, the Greek, and the last is the Roman Empire. And now 
the Roman Empire comes into existence. And when Mr. Trump will have done his part, then the European Union will overtake and the covenant will be made with Rome and Israel and the nations around. But as I said, in this short message, we cannot go into these details. But now, what about our part? What about the preparation of the bride of Jesus Christ? I have to say also that now we are connected with the whole world. Here are 92 greetings from all over the world, from brothers, be it in New Zealand, Australia, USA, Canada, all other continents. They've sent us their greetings, joining us to hear the true word of God, being brought up to date in the kingdom of God. Beloved, I do have a responsibility before God. I shall also write about it, God willing. But I look back to my time with the Lord. Seventy years ago, I dedicated my life to the Lord in 1948. And as I said many times, I met Brother Branham. But before I met the men sent from God, I met the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. And by the grace of God, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit and guided by the Holy Spirit into the Word of God. And since 1955, I came to know about the ministry of Brother Branham. Beloved, in 1958, when I heard him the second time and participated in the meetings, I heard the word message for the first time in June 1958. And Brother Branham said, you will return to Germany with this message. So by the grace of God, I believe that William Branham was a promised prophet for our generation, for this age. The promised prophet of Malachi chapter 4, confirmed by our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 17, 11, in Mark 9, verse 12, I saw his ministry. I experienced his ministry. And by the grace of God, we came to understand that we're living very near to the second coming of Christ. But what was the commission? You are sent with a message that will forerun the second coming of Christ. Beloved, if I make this remark, forgive me. But just during the last week, I received a draft of 40 who translate Brother Branham's sermons into another language. But beloved brothers and sisters, they all go into different directions, have different interpretations, misleading the people using the terminology the prophet said, the prophet said, and everybody interprets the statements of Brother Branham and fits them into his own views and teachings. Beloved, the time has come. And please remember this. Brother Branham was told, as Moses was given two signs, you are given two signs. What was it? It was calling out time. 
It was calling out time. Let my son go. And what happened? Was there a division? Was there a division when Cyrus gave the commandment return to Jerusalem? Were there many people going in different directions? Or did all of God's people return to Jerusalem, to the place rebuilding the temple? Were there different directions in the days of Moses? There was one prophet, and that was Moses. And the word of God came to him. And then, of course, when Moses passed away, Joshua was used to lead the people into the promised land. So in our time, God used William Branham to bring us back to the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. All the mysteries were revealed and were shared. All the mysteries all over the world and the bride is not divided. The bride is not put into different directions. The bride only believes the word of God. No interpretation, no explanation, no wrong doctrine is in the true church and bride of the living God. All the brothers are misleading. They are deceived. They don't have a call. They don't have a commission. They build their own kingdoms claiming to be in the kingdom of God. You're only in God if you're in the word of God. If you're not in the word of God, you're not in God. And our Lord said in John chapter 8, all that are of God will hear the word of God. And the apostle John said, we are of God. And those who are of God hear us. Whom do you hear? Whom do you follow? May God's grace be with you. The return of our Lord is very near. And William Branham, God's prophet, said, If you want to know the time we're living in, have a good look at Israel. Israel is a nation since 1948. And now the declaration about Jerusalem. And now, very soon, in our time, will follow the declaration about the rebuilding of the temple and, beloved brothers and sisters, we'll not see that because Brother Branham said it will just come about the same time. The covenant between Rome and Israel and the rapture will be around the same time because the ministry of the two prophets will begin after the covenant will be made and after three and a half years, the covenant will be broken. But I shall write about these things once more. Beloved, I must close. I'm so grateful to Almighty God for His Holy Word. I'm grateful to Almighty God for sending us His servant and prophet. I'm grateful to Almighty God, to have called me with an audible voice to preach His Word and to give out the fruit. I'm grateful to God for opening my eyes, my spiritual understanding, and also the same applies to all true children of God all over the earth. We have the same revelation by the same Holy Spirit and we follow Jesus Christ who is the same yesterday, today and forever. And as Israel has returned to the homeland, the New Testament church 
is restored. We've come back to Jerusalem. We did not go to Rome. We did not go to Nicaea. We went back to Jerusalem, the same foundation laid by the apostles and prophets. And our Lord will complete and finish his redemption work in our time. And we shall be taken to glory. And God will finish his work then with the Jews. And then all things will happen. The millennial reign and finally the new heaven and the new earth. May God bless you and be with you. Amen.